This is our camping and motorcycle racing trailer. It's a six foot wide by eight foot long trailer, but we've added the bits and pieces that we need to suit our purpose. On the roof, there's a solar panel, and on the other side, there's a 240 volt electric hookup. But we'll talk more about electrics when we go inside. Also on this side, at the top, we've added a rail into which we can attach our awning. So inside the walls and ceiling are fully insulated with 20mm rigid insulation board and then carpeted with stretched carpet. Behind the kitchen area we've also added stainless steel splashbacks. The flooring is rigid plank vinyl flooring. Very heavy duty and very hard wearing. As you can see there we've also got two tie down, hole, tie -down hooks at the back and another two at the front for when we're travelling with the motorcycle. The bench is actually a three section pull out bed so that when fully extended that fills the gap between there and the kitchen units and turns into a full size double bed. In the kitchen itself we decided to go for a domestic type hob rather than a normal camper van hob because they're just a bit bigger to cook on and we've got plenty of space. The only downside is we do have to take the rings off to travel or as they bounce around. That's powered by an LPG cylinder which is sitting in the cupboard beneath it. We've actually bought a refillable one so that we can fill it up at petrol stations that supply gas. Next to the cooker is our 12 volt fridge and a cutlery tray above. And over here is one of our standard storage cupboards and we've decided to use the wire racking trays. The benefit of these is that it keeps everything tidy and together and doesn't move around when we're travelling. We move on to the sink. Again we've used a domestic sink rather than a standard camper van sink because we've got the space and we wanted a bigger bowl. We have used a standard 12 volt camper van tap which is fed from two 20 litre water containers in the cupboard beneath and then to the right there's another storage cupboard. The electrical installation up here this is where the solar comes in it goes into the solar control panel and then from there it feeds that inverter where we can charge mobile phones and also plug in one three pin normal 240 volt socket. It also charges the battery and it runs the LED strip lights and the fridge. In the other cupboard we've got the 240 volt system so when we've collected to um, a 240 volt pin plug, three pin plug that comes into here and that system basically then feeds the battery charger as well which is located under the bed and it also feeds this 240 volt socket with USB outlets over here. Finally we have this large box in the corner which lifts up and opens out to create a toilet cubicle. That's probably about as much as I can tell you about it at the moment. We've just come back from a two and a half thousand mile trip around France and Spain. Everything's worked okay and we're really pleased with it. We'd be happy to build more of these if there's a demand for them. So if there's any interest out there, we can basically build any size, any specification, doesn't matter whether you want a bigger bed, smaller bed, different electrics, different colours, different size trailer. Um, get in touch and uh, we'll see what we can do. In the notes below we'll put some sort of ideas of costs or at least what it costs us to build this as a, as a, as a starting point. Thank you for watching.